So Devin is one of those stories that, you know, we take a lot of pride in, A, for him to be part of our community, uh, to watch somebody transform in front of our eyes that, you know, I think Jeff said it last night and AJ spoke about how, you know, Devin would say six words on average per day and then he started talking about his art and it was transformative. Um, I think AJ said she can't get him to shut up now, which is awesome. Uh, we love this guy. Um, we love this family. And on April 2nd, which is World Autism Awareness Day, Devin's story was featured on PBS. So we want to show you guys that story. And then I have a feeling Devin's going to want to come out and tell us a little bit about what he's been up to. Sound good? Yeah. All right. When you have a child, that brand new baby, you look at that child and go, he could be the president of the United States. He could be a star football player. He could do this, he could do that. You never think, oh, he could have autism. You don't think that way. For many years of your life, you're just focused on getting him to be normal, blending in, not singled out. Now we do the opposite. Yes, he is different. That difference makes him really special. Okay, buddy, you're gonna sit right here. Hey, Devin, all right. All we wanna do, Devin, <laughs> is talk about you, tell your story. True story. Your true story? What's your true story? Make your art. You like to make art. When it comes to bath time, five-year-old Devin Wilds always puts up a fight. Don't you want to go play? Throwing tantrums is just one of the many symptoms of autism that his mother, AJ, has to cope with. Devin started as a normally developing child, a bouncing baby boy, and hit all of his milestones. And then about the two years of age, we noticed his talking had kind of subsided. <laughs> it wasn't till he was about four that he, people started saying, gee, he's, he's more on the severe side. And you might even want to think about him not being in the home. And that was just never an option to me. His visual acuity was so strong at, at age five. And because he was really strong in art, I was like, yeah, 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 that's great. I need him to speak. I need him to do math. I need him to do social science. I need him to be normal. I don't want him to be a starving artist. What is that gonna do for him? It took me a while to figure out that I had the wrong idea and that I needed to use that creativity, that artistic talent and have that be his vehicle to be in this world and to have a purpose. Welcome to Off The Wall Studio. The studio, you are free to be who you are. This isn't school. Because art kids, we're already weird anyway. This is a safe place to be weird or to be different. It's a safe place to be you. Oh, that was good. Give me five. <laughs> Karin's one of these people that she's pretty tenacious. He really needed that. He needed a strong teacher get in his face and tell him he needed to keep moving forward. Devin wanted to be here. Devin became more focused, more open. He became more confident, dedicated. Happy? Yeah, really happy. His art makes him happy. I expect Devin to continue doing art to enrich his spirit and to enrich his soul. Look, see? What do you call that one? Kaiserwin's giant skeleton. This is a mountain. This is blue lady. Anytime you're dealing with 
a disability. People are very conscious of labels. Regardless, throughout his life, he's never thought of himself as disabled. And so when people say that, he just kind of shrugs it off. And it's not about him being autistic. It's about him being an artist. And that's how he defines himself. I received this very emotional email from Devin's mother, AJ, and uh, I just became incredibly moved by the story of Devin's art. Replied to it, AJ, and I said, uh, you know, let's bring Devin in. Hi. Hey. Hi, Hi Devin. And they said, we want Devin to be one of our artists. We want to promote him. We want to promote the work that he's doing. Art. Art, that's what we want. Artforce is a provider of art and art services. This is their workshop, look at that. Wow. Really, it's interesting because different clients are drawn to different types of art and different stories. And that's what's so compelling about art, the story behind it. And um, of course, with Devon, you hear that story. There you are. Cool. Well, Devin, it's so nice to have you here. We are pleased and privileged to have your artwork on display. People love it. He knows that his art is really good. And so he has, a, he has an ego, <laughs> as all good artists should, right? For him to take that skill set and bring it into something that makes him happy, makes other people happy, that's purpose. And what was really funny is I thought him doing the art was his purpose, but it's not. It's him talking about his art. Yeah, you like to, you like to get on stage. Hi, my name is Devin. I like art. I try coloring painting. He transformed on stage in his confidence and his ego, and he loves to talk in front of five, 600 people where that would be most people's worst nightmare. Did it percent <laughs> of cookies <laughs> from Salvador Dali. <laughs> Did a <you> robber baby. <laughs> Did a credit party, credit party. Here's a kid who has such a hard time verbalizing and getting the words out but he's so determined to talk about his art and to share that and get that pride. You feel really proud, don't you? I am you? proud. You are proud, yeah. This is a Hawaii shirt. <laughs> There's a red piece of a sky. <laughs> There's a command down. Step it, I command you. Everyone needs that outlet. Everyone needs to put their mark on this world. Giving him those vehicles where he can show his art, talk about his art, that's a huge thing for any person. And I think that's what gets him up in the morning. Everybody, I'm back. Pfos is my home. Jerry is my buddy. I make drawings, drawing. He's making drawings too. <clears throat> Last year, I was best team. <laughs> <laughs> because the Pfos. Broke at PEF. I'm a 
Good job. I love you. You love me. I love art. <laughs> I'm so happy. I sell for art. And a newspaper. I'm a famous. <laughs> and what do you do? Work with your court. Did you believe in me? Can you guys hear me? All right. You're a great man. You're a great artist. But behind every great man is a great woman. Get out here, AJ. Come on. And in this case, a great mom. So you guys, congratulations. We love following your story. We love that you're part of our community. Devin and AJ. Take a bow. Take a bow.